Hey guys, welcome to episode 12 of my Utah Jazz, my GM mode here on NBA 2K14. And this episode, we will be going up against the Phoenix Suns for the first game of the 2015-16 NBA season. And we did play the Suns last year, but they do have a one big addition of Kevin Love acquired from the Timberwolves in this offseason. And they still have a really good front court or back court. Uh, they have Eric Bledsoe, Gordon Drogic, Archie Goodwin. And Isaiah Thomas, who I think they got in the offseason. And this is our first game of this season. And we have new players like Joel Embiid, Jason Terry, Gerald Green, Brandon Bass. And we still have the same starting lineup. But after this game, I might want to change that. And right off the bat, Trey Burke hit the three to give us a one-point deficit. With And now Joel Embiid's looking to get his first points as an NBA player. And he does get it right over Alex Wynn, I believe. Yep, that was Alex Wynn. And now we're down by one. Now the first, it was a quick first quarter. It wasn't really too packed, like with nice plays. But that's gonna be it. There was a lot of like sloppy plays, and we were down by two at the end of the first quarter. Looking to get this lead, and tr hopefully try to get the our first win of the season on the first game of the season. Looking to get to the playoffs this season. And now Victor Aladipo hits a three to make it a tie game, all up at thirty two with about eight thirty minutes to go. And now Joel Embiid finds Trey Burke, who dribbles to the right. And he finds Gary Harris, who drives. And he finds Derek Favors, who pump fakes and slams it over Miles Plumley and gets the dunk to go. And in this game, you'll see a lot of Miles Plumley. You might not see a lot of them, but when I show you the stats, you'll see. I didn't know he was this good. And then Gary Harris hits a three. We were up by six. Now we're up by four. Joel Embiid's in the post. And he makes a nice, tough move, showing Miles Plumley this strength. And gets the layup to go. So we're up by six. Now we're up by eight. And Joe Green finds Etwan Moore. Another addition that I didn't mention before. And because he's our third string point guard. But he's contributing with the three right there. And Etwan Moore with 12 seconds to go in the quarter. Slamming it down. Going right through the Suns defense. You can see from the key slam cam replay. It's a nice dunk right there. And as the second quarter is coming to an end. They're going to take the final shot. Eric Bledsoe is dribbling. On Jason Terry with five seconds four. He gets to the rim, but it's no good. And Jason Terry's gonna throw up a prayer. It's not gonna go down. And we have a nine point lead going into halftime. A really good lead. The team has been playing really good. Gary Harris is scoring the most for us. And Joel Embiid has been surprising me. And Chris Bosch in this game at the stats, you can see how he doesn't do good. And now Gary Harris gets an and one to start off the third quarter. What a play by Gary Harris to get the and one. Now Trey Burke's jumping up the court. He's going to find no one because nobody wants to guard him. And he's just going to hit the jump shot to give us an 11-point lead. Nice play right there from Trey Burke. And now Eric Bledsoe's driving. And he's going to find Kevin Love for three. And it is good. Now it's a 10-point lead for the Utah Jazz. And Kevin Love was quiet in the first half. But you can see he's kind of heating up right now. He's got nine points right now. And now it's only a two-point game. Now it's still a two-point game. And they could take the lead or tie it right here. Now Isaiah Thomas, Derek Favors, it's a mismatch. Isaiah Thomas has a speedy. He does a step back three. And it is good. It is 67-66 for the Phoenix Suns. Their first lead since the first quarter. Now Patrick Mills finds Gerald Green for three. We're trading threes here, and it's 69-67, Utah Jazz. Now, just under three minutes to go. Patrick Mills is driving. Patrick Mills is going to find Derek Favors, who makes a nice move to get the basket to go. And we are up by four. And now we're up by two with about a minute and 20 to go. Gordon Drogic's driving, and he's going to find James Michael McAdoo, former Tar Heel, and he's going to hit the jump shot to make us all tied up at 71. And now Eric Bledsoe is looking to tie up the game before the quarter ends. And no, uh, that was Ismael Sis, my bad. But Trey Burke just blocks Kevin Love. Now Brandon Rush finds Jason Terry, who's going to get a shot off, but he's going to get fouled. He will eventually hit those two free throws. And then they're just going to take the final shot right here. Ismael, Sis Ismael Smith is going to throw up a prayer, and it is no good. So we are going with a four-point lead going into the fourth quarter, looking to maintain this lead to get us our first win of the season on opening day of the 2015-16 NBA season. And right there, Victor Oladipo hits a three to give us a seven-point lead. He's got eight points in the game. And now Jason Terry's driving. Well, he's actually on the three-point arc, and he's going to keep dribbling. And he finds Trey Burke, who's going to drive, and he's going to find Victor Oladipo, who shoots another three, and it is good. Back-to-back -back threes for Victor Oladipo, and we are up by eight. Now just under seven to go. 
Victor Oladipo does a nice spin move to not take the charge. And he gets it to go. And we are up by 8. But now we're up by 6. And Gary Harris isn't stopping to the rim. And 1. Gary Harris. He is having himself a very good day for the first game of the season. And right there, that's his second and one of the game. And right there, a nice contact layup. And he eventually hit the free throw. And Chris Bosh right here is going to find Trey Burke for the nice free throw jump shot. And we're up by 6 at this point. And now it's a tied game at 97. They came back after a sloppy play by the Jazz. A couple of free throws. And they could take the lead right here. Isaiah Thomas is on the three-point line with 12 seconds to go in the shot clock. He's dribbling in the paint right now. He finds Kevin Love. Who eventually finds Miles Plumley, who fouls out Joel Embiid, and that was key. And we were going to bring in the struggling Chris Bosch, but Miles Plumley ended up hitting one of the two free throws. Now Gary Harris almost loses it. We're giving to Gary Harris. He's driving. He's got to find Victor Dubo, and we need the shot. It is no good. We could have took a two point lead with that three. It was a nice shot. He was pretty wide open. And now we got to play defense here. A stop gives us a chance to get take the win. But if they do score, we can hit a three. So now Kevin Love is driving, and we need to stop right here like the defense. Miles Plumley pump fake, and he finds Eric Bledsoe for three, and it is good, and that's not what we needed, and we're now down by four. We eventually had a foul, and we're down by five, and Gary Harris is going to throw up a shot at the end. doesn't go down. Now we're just going to have to foul, and this game is most likely over. Gerald Green's going to shoot a three, and it is no good, and this going to jump off the clock, so we did... We had a lead in the first half of the game, and we did blow it. And But we did look good, but we just got to improve, and that's going to be it. We do lose for a final score of 104 to 97 on the road in Phoenix. Very heartbreaking loss for the first game of the season. But Joel Embiid did play nice, and Chris Bosh did not. So you never know. In the middle of the season, we might have Joel Embiid become the starting center. Chris Bosh might take a bench spot. And there you can see Kevin Love was quiet in this game. He had 13 points. He went 5 for 10 from the field, but he did have 14 rebounds. So a double-double from the former Minnesota Timberwolves. And, yeah, I'll show you guys the stats. And you can see how good Miles Plumlee did. He, You might not have seen a lot of, of him, but he really did really well. And by our team, our winning score was Gary Harris, I believe. Let me show you guys in a second. As I bring up the stats. And yeah. The final score was. And there you can see the player of the game. Miles Plumley. He had a really nice game. He had 31 points. 10 rebounds. A block and forces. So he had a double double. The former Duke Blue Devil. There you can see he had 31 points. I'll, left, I'll leave the stats roll out. And that will be it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.